this is the pack, and here are where the bus bars used to be tied into the, the, all the series configuration from all the packs and connected. So folks, this is how we're gonna do it. I'm gonna show you how everything is all, you can tear up this entire pack. Stay tuned. I'm not a good narrator, but I can do the best I can. But for you guys, but this is the thing, bear with me. You have all these things connected. Look at that, it's out. Sit right there. So I've seen people trying to do it. We have them in a kind of little bit, um, um, like a tripod, see, so that we can able to elevate it. It's easy. Some people I see, they try to disassemble everything on that particular thing, which is not, I think everybody has a way of doing it. But this is the most convenient and comfortable and I have my camera guy here who's doing the job so that, you know, make sure I can I don't have free hands. I can able to do whatever I want to do. So this part, you guys can see, I don't care that much for saving any parts here. So it's just a matter of make sure we have what we're looking for. There we go. So um, I'm going to be taking out the main bolt. You guys see we have four, 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 and four. You know, four, eight, 12, and all the rest of them going in pairs. So this is what I do. Take these ones. As long as you handle the same side, you're not gonna be zapped, okay? So don't worry too much. When you deal with voltage, high voltage or something, you gotta be conscious, but you don't have to be too, so much intense. The intensity of your body that creates another thing because you're not flexible, you're not comfortable, you're kind of like, oh, what, are you, what about if I get zapped or whatever, no. Take that off your mind, but you know, be conscious of what you do. You know, by doing so, you can do your work very effectively, productively, and you're still being safety number one, but you know what you have to do one at a time. So this is how we do it right in the shop. Me and my apprentice here, which is gonna be the camera guy. You guys are not gonna see us on camera, sorry about it, but um, all you gotta do right now is watch the video. The way we do it right here. This is how we do it. Everybody has a way of doing it, but this is the most comfortable. I've seen some videos how people um, go about doing this before even thinking about doing this uh, pack. But if you have more knowledge or experience on uh, maybe mechanical stuff, engineering or something, or you work on cars or you like tinkering with stuff, and it's just a piece of cake. It's a piece of cake. And oh, the most important thing is the tools. You have to have the tools. You have to have the right tool for the right job. Trust me, if you don't have the right tool, this all would have been a fiasco. Trouble, disaster. You're gonna spend hours and hours of this, but we have the tools here, and uh, JW Solar USA is already ready for this, saying no, like I said, I got a lot of tools I'm using, especially the tools I don't have, I have to go back to the store and got them, in which I haven't touched yet. The only thing I use is the main disconnect that was like in the center right there, or the main fuse is a plug that you can just able to unplug that you disconnect the power from flowing into the series. So this is what, those are the tools I use. I saw some guys, they look like um, uh, like toothpick-like, something the, 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 the dentist normally use, you know, cleaning your teeth and whatever, taking cavities, but we never use them. So, so far so good. I saw one of the videos, the guy was using this for this side, especially these ones because it's down. So this clip, so you can use those kind of thing and just yank them out easily and pull this thing and disconnect, especially these ones, these clips. So he went the other way around and just pull the bottom of this one and yank it down so that these clips can come out. So. Why do I need that? Or why do I have to buy that? I end up buying it anyway, which I'm gonna take back to the store. It's useless for me. It's gonna be useful in the future, on future purpose um, projects, but for the time being, 
I don't need it. The time I am gonna buy it. It's cheap, okay? It's not that expensive, but do I really have to keep more junk or whatever? No. I'll take it back to the store because I'm just using my regular tools here. It's just um, some people told me he has male metric and other, other things. And, uh, you know, I know I appreciate you guys' uh, help and comments and all everything, which is part of my channel. We're helping each other here at the JW Solo USA. And um, this video is going to be on um, one of my other channel. The first channel is the one that I normally do the unboxing. And um, you want to see all the latest stuff I normally have that comes to um, the command center or my solar project or anything new I, I, I normally buy or I do buy. I'm going to unbox it onto that channel first. So always check on that channel. I'll put that on the description below. And um, if you want to see latest things, I'm going to unbox that first before it goes to the JW Solar USA channel. That channel is only unboxing the first time and the first performance on that particular device, that video is gonna be there. So if you happen to subscribe to that channel or you haven't, I'll encourage you to go about it and subscribe, like, and share. So I don't wanna unbox things on my JW Solar USA channel and trying to start ex explaining things and whatever. You know, I want to put it on one of the other channel. All the new gadgets and everything that comes in is just for that. And the other, the rest of the videos are going to the JW Solar USA as the test. The first initial test is going to go to the, the other channel, which I'm going to put in the description below. And all the action now you want to see, you find them right on JW Solar USA. So if you don't understand, you see a video, you don't understand how it come about, or maybe never seen the install. I know people asking questions about that too. So how did you get this? How did you open to do? So what's the initial um, startup, whatever, all these kind of questions. So go to that channel and you find exactly um, what I'm talking about here. So you see, now I'm coming to take all the little Phillips screws here as we go so fast, rapid, rapid. We're just going flying so crazy. So check that out and you see what I'm talking about. Um, I don't want to get this video too long, but anyway, um, for dismantling this entire battery, I want you guys to see. It might help someone and if you find it helpful, please don't be scared to Subscribe, like, and share, comment to this channel. And this is the last pack. All done. See that? Doesn't even take us that long. You have the right tool for right um, application. So look at this. Take this ones out. Get this thing. We're not trying to be anymore like assemble this one whole thing. It's done. Ta-da! Thanks for watching. From the channel, live in Minnesota here, Nissan Leaf, lithium battery.